Hey there, welcome back to Northlight Photographic Workshops. Uh, today I'm going to get to something I've been talking about for a while uh, in my various videos, and you've all asked me a lot of questions about this, and that's my chemical disposal. And uh, what I've been telling you all along is that I evaporate it off, and I've never really, ex I've, I've explained what I do, but I've never really shown it, so I thought I'd give a little bit of a tutorial on what I do here. Now, what I did is, back in the day, um, one of the old closing photo labs in Detroit, um, I was able to uh, get um, a couple of these tanks, and these are great. These are old chemistry mixing tanks that they used to have in their chemical rooms, and they would run from tubes to different processors and things. But uh, I was able to get a couple of them. <clears throat> They're 30 gallons, and what I do with them is I use these uh, these Husky bags. Um, uh, these I get at Home Depot. They're three mils, and uh, they're nice thick bags, as you can see here. And what I like to do is use two of these together, and I, I stack them uh, together, and I put them inside of here. And then what I do is I pour my chemistry that I want to uh, save and not put down my septic tank. Uh, I pour it into here. Now, mostly for me, that is dichromates. Wow, these birds are really singing. Uh, most of these, these are dichromates that I like to put in here, and I, I do a lot of gum bichromate printing, um, gum over platinum, that kind of thing, as you've seen from some of my videos. Uh, and what I like to do with that is I take the one tray, the first tray uh, that I use to develop in, which is just a water bath for gum bichromate. Uh, that first water bath is where most of the dichromate comes out. Uh, in fact, I would say almost all of it comes out in that first bath. It comes out pretty quickly, and the bath turns very yellow. Um, but what I'll do is rather than keep recycling that same bath over a whole printing process, whether it be a couple of days or a whole week, I'll use that one tank and, uh, or that one tray. And just if I need to add some water to it, I do, but I rarely do. I just keep it fairly full. I use that for my first tray and that becomes my dichromate washout tray. And uh, boy, I think that everybody knew that I was going to be recording a video here and all the birds have started to come down to uh, fight over the feeders. Uh, anyway, so. That one tray is the one that collects almost all of the dichromate, and so over the course of the printing process, I just keep using that same tray, and I swap out the other ones. They're fairly clean, and I let them go down the septic tank. Um, but this one tray I bring out here at the end of a processing uh, um, se uh, segment. I come out here and I dump the tray into this uh, tank. And then what I do is I've got this... Uh, this screen cover that I made and the reason that I cover it with this is just to keep leaves and other things from falling in here and also small animals. I've got a bit of a menagerie of animals living around here that I keep feeding and things and I I don't want them falling in here and drowning, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, this is always a good thing to do as well. But over the course of time, uh, the liquid evaporates off, the water evaporates off just uh, in, here in the woods. It, it evaporates over time, but the chemistry does not. And it stays as a solid inside lining these bags. And then what I do after the, you know, I, I just recently did one, for instance. Um, last week we had a chemical disposal day at our local waste disposal site. And uh, a couple of times a year they allow you to bring down basically anything and you know you have to pay a bit to uh, help out and you can dispose of it there and then they take care of it and properly dispose of it from there. So what I do is I take these bags which are now lined with basically a film of chemistry after the water is evaporated off and I roll them up and I take them down to the, uh, to the waste disposal. So uh, it's as easy as that. Now the thing is is that if I'm on a long printing run uh, it takes quite a while for it to all evaporate off, but I would have to say that this rarely gets more than a third full when I'm working with it. Um, and it evaporates off fairly quickly, and, uh, and therefore it's basically a low impact way of doing this. I mean, I, I realize that all of us are using, in doing uh, alternative processes, we're using some caustic chemicals and we have to dispose of them as carefully as we can uh, if you're going to be responsible, and this is my way of doing it. So. I hope this helps you. Uh, what you can um, definitely do before you do something with this is check with your local waste disposal site and see what the, what their process is um, uh, and that kind of thing. I mean, you can even take it down as liquids as well, but for me it's a little bit more difficult because the waste disposal site is about 20 miles away from me. Um, so, uh, but your system, your situation might be different and therefore it might be better for you to take over a tank like this and, and just have it disposed of that way. If you're looking for a tank like this, look on eBay. 
uh, or on Amazon, that kind of a thing. I will actually do a little research before I put this video out there and see if I can find a couple of links where you can go. And uh, you should be able to find those links below. Um, and uh, that's it. I hope this you know, answers the questions that I've been getting from you of how I dispose of this thing. I mean, I know a lot of you are like me, that you live kind of remotely and you uh, maybe are on a septic tank and, and, a, and not on a, a city system. And actually, with some of the chemistry we work with, you know, to be responsible, you shouldn't be pouring it down your drain if you live in the city as well. And this can also be a good way of doing that. Um, what I will tell you is to be careful of this if you have small children or if you have kids in the neighborhood that might get into something like this, you might want to think twice about where you would put this. Uh, but for me, living out here in the woods, you know, basically I have squirrels and coyotes and, and things like that to deal with. And, you know, they're not going to deal with this, they're not going to bother with it, but I do want to make sure that, you know, small animals just don't fall in here thinking they're going to get a drink of water. So, be sure to cover it up. Uh, don't cover it up completely because then it won't evaporate off, right? So anyway, okay, so I hope this helps you. Uh, and if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. There's still lots more to come. I know I have several videos that aren't finished yet that are gonna be coming your way pretty soon. So stay tuned and as always, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for um, you know supporting me on Patreon, those of you that do, uh, I really appreciate it. So until the next time, happy printing, take care of yourselves, bye-bye.